Hi, I'm Yoram Solomon, the founder of the Trust Building Institute, and I'm here to show you how to become a more trustworthy team member. This video is part of a series based on the book Can I Trust You? 67 plus 1 habits that will make you a trustworthy team member. If you are more trustworthy, your team will have better trust. Teams with higher trust are 64% more productive and get 59% more autonomy. In a high trust team, you will feel 76% more engaged, 74% less stressed, 40% less burned out, you'll get 106% more energy and 29% more job satisfaction. In March of 2015, I ran a campaign to be elected to the Plano Independent School District Board. Plano ISD is one of the most prominent, strongest school districts in the nation. Part of campaigning was meeting with potential supporters. In one of those meetings, over breakfast, one potential supporter told me that he had asked about me and was given the feedback about a concern with me not being a team player. As much as, as much as I tried to hide my feelings, I was hurt. But then I realized that the definition of team player is different in different places and for different people. On the board or council of an elected government entity, being a team player often means that you are expected to go along with the majority, and any sign of disagreement on the board is considered negative. But I was hurt for another reason. You see, I served in the Israeli Defense Forces 35th Airborne Brigade as an infantry soldier, operating high-power weapons in extremely adverse situations. I was part of a team in which my team members trusted me with their lives and I trusted them with mine. That was our definition of being a team player. It hurt my feelings that the impression was that I wasn't. This book is the third in a series of mini books that are based on original research that I have conducted, starting with my 2010 doctoral dissertation that focused on understanding the differences in corporate culture between startups and mature companies. The research I conducted over the past decade led to the creation of the Innovation Culture Institute, LLC. The book is also based on hundreds of articles that I published over the years in publications such as Inc. Magazine, Innovation Excellence, Directors and Boards, and many more. Finally, it is also based on my experience in building trust through different roles and disciplines, from being an executive in several private and public companies, to helping other organizations, from startups to Fortune 500 companies, build their own culture of innovation and trust. But it is important to note that I learned the most about trust not by reading books or conducting research. There are different levels of trust and trustworthiness. There is the level of trustworthiness that you must possess if you expect me to trust you to return a $20 bill that I lent you. There is a different level of trustworthiness you must have if you expect me to give you my email password to check my emails. And there is yet another level of trustworthiness that you must have if you expect me to trust you as a surgeon to operate on my daughter. I learned about trust as an infantry, as an infantry soldier and a marksman at the Israeli Defense Forces 35th Airborne Paratroopers Brigade. Finally, I learned the most about trust when I trusted my platoon members with my life. I learned about trustworthiness when I ask my platoon members to trust me with theirs. Nevertheless, I will not claim that I'm a great team member, not even that I'm a good one. I will claim, though, that based on my research and experience, I know what makes a trustworthy team member, and that's what I'll share with you here. Enjoy the series. For more, text the word TRUST to 21000. That's TRUST to 21000. Thank you for watching.